amidst the physics body nodes, there is one that, despite its simplicity, will likely constitute the majority of objects in any given game. Do they have any hidden complexities? What are static bodies? Well, put simply, they are physics bodies that other bodies can collide with, but don't react to collisions themselves. This makes them incredibly cheap, process-wise, relative to the other physics bodies, and perfect for making all the non-moving, but still collidable portions of a given game world. It is, however, possible to modify how other bodies react to colliding with the static body. Said modifications are done through the body's unique variables, the first two of which are constant angular velocity and constant linear velocity. Despite what their names may imply, these don't actually move the body, rather, at least in 2D. They cause colliding kinematic bodies that are using the move and slide function to simply be moved a specific amount, and colliding rigid bodies to apply a force to themselves at the point of contact with both reactions being based on the amount and type of given velocity. This is meant to make any colliding body react as if the static body was moving, but it can also cause an odd effect specifically with rigid bodies where they seem to stick a bit to the static body, as can be seen in my example. This is due to the colliding body applying a force that keeps pushing it back into the static body, causing a bit of a feedback loop until it slides all the way off. But even with that in mind, this is still an extremely useful feature for creating certain kinds of more dynamic props, the most obvious example of which being conveyor belts. Unfortunately though, despite these variables existing in 3D, their behavior isn't implemented, meaning that they literally do nothing. This is a known issue, however, so hopefully this will be fully added in by 4.0. Beyond those, the only other non-inherited variable within static bodies is physics material override, a variable they actually share with rigid bodies, allowing you to assign the body a physics material which contains the friction and bounce variables, along with their modifiers. Both being floats ranging from 0 to 1 that specifically affect the way rigid bodies interact with the static body. Friction, of course, causing said bodies to slow down while sliding against the static body, and bounce causing said bodies to rebound off the static body in amount proportional to the bounce variable and the momentum they hit the body with. If you want a more detailed explanation of these variables and their modifiers, go check out my video going over rigid bodies. And yeah, I know it was uncharacteristically short, but that's pretty much all there is to static bodies. They really are that simple. So with all that said, hope you found this at least a little useful, and until next time, thanks for watching.